Hi, welcome to video on visualization of uh, unlocked communication concept using LabVIEW. So this is uh, video number three. So in this we will discuss the topic uh, demodulation of EM signal using envelope detector. Uh, this is the circuit diagram for uh, detecting the modulation signal from an amplitude modulated waveform which uses uh, a diode, of course uh, uh, a resistor and a capacitor. Uh, this is the black one is the uh, standard EM signal and you can see the red one is the envelope of uh, this EM signal. So you can trace the envelope of uh, this EM signal, it actually represents the modulating signal. Now uh, that's why the name envelope detector. So this circuit uh, will actually charge along with the uh, carrier signal till the peak. So once the uh, input voltage reduces, the capacitor slowly discharges and again charges. It discharges uh, whenever the carrier signal goes uh, below the peak. Now that's how the capacitor is uh, keep on charging and discharging which resembles the modulating signal. So that is the whole idea of uh, detecting the modulating signal from an amplitude modulated waveform. Uh, to realize this, okay, we know that this is the uh, amplitude modulated uh, uh, signal expression. So now uh, th this actually represents uh, uh, a carrier signal frequency of C. Uh, there is a modulated signal at a frequency of FM, which actually represents the envelope of uh, the AM signal. And uh, while realizing this uh, envelope uh, detector, so we have to ensure that uh, the RC time constant of this envelope detector should actually follow this particular condition so that uh, it can easily detect or uh, efficiently detect the envelope of the AM signal, which is the modulated signal. So in order to realize uh, the same thing, so this is how uh, the spectrum of AM signal will look like. So AM signal standard AM is going to have a, a carrier delta function and it is going to have two sidebands. So out of which we are supposed to get only the modulated signal. It's actually the uh, down conversion of uh, the AM signal and of course uh, it's, it's exactly the frequency translation of the uh, message signal from a higher frequency to a frequency FM. Uh, this is how the envelope detector is uh, uh, demonstrated or realized uh, in, in lab view. So as you can see here, so this is the stuff which is amplitude modulated waveform is applied to an absolute uh, value block. So this amplitude value block will actually uh, give a rectified uh, uh, amplitude modulated waveform and that is uh, written as S dash of T and that is passed to low pass filter. This low pass filter is actually uh, giving the output of your M of T and that can be uh, fed to a spectrum analyzer to understand okay, what is the content of that low pass filter output. So this is how the actual time response and uh, the uh, frequency spectrum of uh, the waveform looks like. This is the absolute value. So S dash of T, uh, as it was said in the earlier stage, this is actually a rectified version of the uh, AM signal. As you can see now, you don't have the negative half, only the positive half is retained. And uh, the spectrum of this actually indicates, so there is a carrier signal uh, at, at frequency FC. This is actually FC now. And of course, you also have a modulating signal at uh, which is located at FM and minus FM. Actually, uh, this signal which is S dash of T having a spectrum from the language, suppose if you pass it to a low pass filter, this red one indicates uh, the filter response. Suppose if you are uh, blocking these higher frequency components to a low pass filter, what you get is only the modulating signal. So once you get modulating signal output of your low pass filter will be modulating signal which you can see at the uh, spectrum analyzer. So we will go to uh, lab view and try to get the same uh, demonstration done to realize uh, the modulating signal from an amplitude modulating waveform using the similar type of blocks. Okay, as we discussed in the uh, earlier videos, so this is the block diagram of uh, standard AM generation which has uh, a modulating signal, a carrier signal and of course uh, the sensitivity uh, constant Ka, of course we have a constant 1. So at this point you want to have 
the standard EM signal. So let us try to uh, draw the block diagram uh, to have this absolute value and the low pass filter. Of course, put a spectrum analyzer to understand the working of this envelope detector. So let us go to uh, the numeric block and select this absolute value. So this is the absolute value which is the representation of this block. So let me connect this uh, and say to modulate the waveform to this uh, block. So this is connected now. And let me connect the low pass filter to this uh, output of absolute value. So low pass filter is available in this uh, express, in this output. Uh, let me undo this uh, spectral analysis, signal analysis, go to this filter. So now let me put that filter there. So this filter I need to configure it as a low pass filter. So let us see the configuration of that as a low pass filter. Now this is that low pass filter. Now of course so we can select whatever cutoff frequency in the art of the filter can be selected later also. Let me just place this uh, low pass filter over here. So let me close this and try to connect the output of this low pass filter to this signal input of the filter. Sorry, uh, output of the absolute uh, value to signal. And this filter signal, let us observe uh, both. Let me create one graphical and also let us have one. signal spectral. So let me also have one more spectral over here to observe the output of absolute value. So let me select and this is let it be by default values. Let me have one more uh, spectral analysis over here. I will select this. Okay. Uh, we have actually connected uh, two spectral uh, measurements. One is the output of the low pass filter to know what is M of T. I am connecting one more spectral measurement at the output of absolute value which is over here. Uh, which should actually give me uh, this uh, spectrum. But of course I want to see uh, how does the rectifier signal looks like. Let me also have one indicator. So let me have create one graphical indicator. This will actually give me uh, the rectified, so let me type it here. This is rectified SFT. This is rectified SFT. So of course, uh, this is filter signal, which happens to be MFT. I can say this is demodulated signal. Fine. So let us now run the. So we have actually done all these things. We go back and then. Okay, let us run this. Uh, let us try to arrange the parameters what I have here. This is spectrum of a subtree. This is SFT and this is the let me stop is this demonstrated reform and what else I have is I have the rectified signal. Uh, let me have one indicator here. This is create graphical indicator. Let me have one more here and then create graphical indicator. So let me make sure that this actually gives the peak of the spectrum. So let me select peak, let it be linear. So this is also done. And let me do the same thing here also. So this RMS will become no peak. We can do the same thing for this spectrum analyzer also. This RMS 
and because we are seeing the peak of the spectrum so let me see this let it be linear next peak okay we have now this will actually indicate so let me name this also as this is spectrum of And now we can uh, carefully observe so uh, till here we're going to have the uh, standard even signal so we have a uh, absolute uh, value module so that is going to give a rectified sft so i want to fill spectrum of uh, the same signal and of course it is pass through low pass filter i want to see how does the spectrum of that look like and uh, i also want to see how does the rectified sft look like so let me run this now if I run this, now let me do control T. So let me adjust the frequencies properly. So let me select the modulating frequency as 1000 Hz. Let the amplitude is also. Let me make K as 0.5. Let the carrier frequency be around. Uh, Thank you. This is also done. Now let me adjust the parameters. Now let me adjust the timings. Okay, spectrum of SRP. Okay, let, since it is at uh, uh, 10,000 kilohertz, let me. So this is not in auto scale. Make it uh, well okay. Uh, now we can see there is a carrier and two sidebands. Let me also see very few waveforms. So let me make it as point uh, zero two. We are seeing only two cycles. Or if you want to see five cycles, let me make it zero five. This is five cycles. But now this is not be demodulated. So since it is uh, so and so, let me make it as uh, one milli one e power minus three. This is done. Uh, let me take out the auto scale of uh, all these x axis. So this is auto scale has been removed. Okay, of this. Let me remove auto scale. Let me remove auto scale of this also. This is already okay, this auto scale. Now let me see uh, what page. Now let me because uh, my modulating frequency is at uh, 1 kilohertz. Let me make this as uh, and not not 0 0.002 so that it can be two cycles. This is your necessity. Yeah, uh, I can see there is one small correction. So once you see this uh, uh, rectified uh, uh, AM signal that is S dash of T. We will going to have the message signal at FM and there will be a, a standard AM signal which is centered at 2FC. Whereas uh, at this point we are going to have uh, a carrier signal at uh, FC and of uh, course uh, this is what is FC you have. So you can see this is 10 kilohertz so carrier frequency this is the spectrum of SRP which is there at 10 kilohertz and of course we have the sideband here. But when we see the rectified signal S dash of T so which is over here can see it here. So this is S dash of T, which is exact here. This is there at 2 FC, which is 10 kilo, sorry 20 kilohertz. So now we can see there is a message signal here, and uh, this is now passed through a low pass filter, whose uh, cutoff frequency we just kept it around uh, uh, 2 kilohertz. Uh, we'll have a look at that also. Uh, this is a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz, and out of the filter is 3. So with this as a specification, we are trying to uh, demodulate the signal. So whose modulating frequency is uh, 1 kilohertz and the carrier frequency is uh, 10 kilohertz. So if you see this demodulated waveform, you can see this is a uh, uh, 1 kilohertz signal. So if you change this to uh, 500 hertz, the modulating signal, you can see the same thing is uh, reflecting at. Now you can see uh, it's running now. So this is now it's 500 hertz. First, I make it uh, 2 kilohertz. Uh, same thing is modified here. So you, you can see this is the change in uh, the demoting waveform. Maybe in the next video, we'll uh, again vary these things and then try to understand it uh, with more 
concept. Of.